Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at containers and selling logs in containers in the Platinum Expansion for Farming Simulator 22. But before that, this video is brought to you by Bipolar Profit and Delilah Paxiron. Thank you for being Farm Barons. So on the Silver Run Forest map, there is an interesting feature that is involving the use of containers and specifically containers for the purpose of selling logs. If you take a look at the map. You're going to find up here that we have a sell point at the northern old sawmill called the Container Warehouse. This Container Warehouse is a selling point for containerized logs. Let's walk through the process. First thing we need to do is we need to buy a container. So we're going to find containers under the objects menu of our store, or of course, under the mods and DLC section under platinum expansion. But the shipping container is going to cost us, depending on the length of the container, $5,500 for a 12 meter container. A nine meter container is going to be $4,680. A six meter container is going to be $3,850. We can change the design from plane to lizard logistics, lizard forestry, and we can change the color on the container. Now, once we have purchased our container, it will spawn here at the shop. Well, we're going to have to transport the container. And the easiest way to transport our container is with a flatbed. So we're going to have to put the container on the flatbed. Do note there is a front and a back to the container. It's going to be rather obvious because the back is going to have folding doors, which we can open with the R key. I mean, listen to that. That is awesome. Let's do that again. Just listen. Oh, the sounds are awesome. So I've got the big Volvo L180H, and I've got that set up with pallet forks. We're going to slide here into the pallet fork holes on the container, and we're going to position this on our flatbed. Now this is using basically the same general functionality that the header trailers use. You saw it just snap in place. So the same functionality that loads our headers onto our header trailers loads our containers onto flatbeds. Now this flatbed is not quite long enough, but that's okay. Because this flatbed, which is also part of the Platinum expansion, well, it has a trick up its sleeve. That is that we can lengthen the flatbed. I should have done that before I attached the container. Now, this is going to allow me to demonstrate a little problem and a solution to the problem. Once you have attached the container, basically via the header connector feature, you can never get rid of that container again until you sell it with the logs. You cannot disconnect the container from the trailer unless you reset the trailer. So let's do that. So we're going to reset our low loader, and in doing that, now our trailer is on the ground. Or sorry, our container is on the ground. So let's lengthen our trailer. We do that right mouse button, then up and down. We can make the trailer longer and shorter. Let's give it a little bit more length. Turn around. That way the trailer is in the proper orientation. I think we can shorten it up a little bit. And then we'll attach our container back on our trailer. So if you have a container you do not want on your trailer, well, reset the trailer and it will disconnect. 
So get it close and snap into place. Just like that. Now as far as putting logs into the container, well that's kind of easy also. For So for demonstration purposes, I've got 12 meter logs set up here into a 12 meter container. We're gonna open our doors, remember R, open the door. Now, got a Volvo loader here, already set up. Let's grab some logs. And let's bring them around carefully, carefully. Let's just go with one. Oh, did you see what happened? It's basically auto loading logs. It'd have been a lot easier if I was closer to the middle or at least closer to this end. Watch this again. We gotta get it just to go on the inside. There, we just auto-loaded more logs. Let me go ahead and load up some more. And uh, we'll talk about what do we do once we get those loaded up. A fully loaded 12 meter container is gonna hold 44,000 liters worth of logs. Let's close up those doors. Seal up the container and off we go to the container warehouse. Now there are a few caveats to this containerized selling of wood. First off, it's only available as of recording this video on Silver Run Forest. So Elm Creek, Holt Bay the Rune, or Erlingrot were updated with container sell points so if you buy a container which you can do on any map now that you have platinum expansion they don't serve much of a purpose because you can attach them to a flatbed you can put logs in them but you can't sell the logs that are in the containers at the normal sell points that take logs okay so just be aware of that only on silver run forest at this point is there a way to sell containerized logs? So we're going to drive on up here to our sell point and bam, $108,000. $108,000 for 44,000 liters worth of logs. Now I get it. I get it. Some people might be like, hey, I bought that container. Where'd it go? Well, I mean, it got shipped off overseas. The container's gone. Okay. It's not coming back but you were rewarded handsomely for that container load of logs. $108,000, remember, that's on easy mode. Now let's talk about where we got this trailer, okay? This trailer is part of the Platinum expansion, so I just want to show you where that's going to be. It's going to be under shop. It's going to be under low loaders. And it is this one right here, low loader 3A. That's what we use to transport the containers. I haven't tested it to see if it's going to work on other low loaders like the 
Boat King or the Steel Drop Deck. I haven't tried it, but I do know that it works with this particular low loader, which is also part of the Platinum expansion. So guys, let me know down below, what do you all think? Is containerized wood the best way of selling logs in Silver Run Forest? I mean, once you get the log in the container, heck, you can even cut the logs straight into the container with a tree harvester if you were talented enough. I did that on a live stream. Then run the container up here to the store, sell it, and off you go. And until next time, happy farming.